It's your girl, Presidential Lily, your favorite Lily, and we are back with another video. But today's video, we are bringing a wig transformation, okay? Start to finish, from the rooter to the tutor. Now, let's get started. So, I'm just starting off by showing you guys the wig's condition. You guys seen this wig before because I showed you guys how to dye hair without bleach. And this is the wig that I used. I've had this wig sitting in a bag inside of a drawer for about a year now. So, it's time for some TLC. Um, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just going through and looking at all the tracks on the wig to see if I need to fix anything, if there's any loose tracks or anything like that, that so I can go ahead and just patch them up and fix them. So I did end up finding a loose track. So I'm just gonna go ahead and begin fixing it just by sewing it back in place. And I also go back through a lot of the, top, the tracks at the top and tighten those up as well. After fixing all the tracks, this is what they look like. As you guys can see, the stitches are very, very close together. The track is very tight to the cap. There's no lumps, there's no bumps. You just have like a really, really nice constructed wig. The next thing that I needed to do to this wig was pluck the shit out of it, like literally. Um, previously, she did not wear glue with her wigs. So I did not pluck the wig or pluck the lace. I just left it um, dense so that I could have like a nice little middle part. But now my girl has moved on to the glue. She has moved on to the meltdown. So we're gonna go ahead and pluck this wig, okay, to naturalness. We're gonna bring it to naturalness. Thank you. 
after plucking we're gonna move on to getting this color or kind of like brightening up the color so what I'm doing is making a small sink of hot water very very hot water this is the highest that my faucet gets so I don't really know the exact temperature but it's the hot the hottest water that comes out of my faucet and that is what I'm doing just making like a little tub enough water for the wig to be saturated inside it I'm taking my ion powder lightener and my ion 40 volume developer and just mixing a bowl of that together adding a double amount of developers so that the mixture can be pretty loose. Once you have it all mixed together, you're just going to pour the bleach mixture into the sink of hot water and begin to mix it all up. We're making a beach, a bleach bath. The creator or the person who, you know, made this very popular is Slay by Jordan. This is where I've seen and learned this technique from. So that is what I'm doing today. I'm using his technique of doing a bleach bath in hopes of just lightening up this hair so that when I try to go back in with more color, it is brighter. Now you just wanna take the wig and begin to dip it in and out of the hot water bleach mixture, making sure to saturate each strand. I'm just using my dimming brush to make sure to comb all the water and bleach through. And I'm making sure that I concentrate this on the color every part where there's color. She does want to keep her dark roots, so I want to work towards that. Now I have two bottles of the L'Oreal High Color Intense Red, and I did both, both bottles. Now I'm taking my hot red mixture and just putting half of into each bowl of the Intense Red, and this is what it like, looked like once it's all mixed together. And y'all are gonna have to excuse the mistakes. I talk fast and I'm country, so it's just all bad. Anyways, now that we have the mixtures mixed all together, I have the wig here. This is after the bleach bath. I probably let it sit for like an hour and a half, and then I rinsed it and blow dried it, and here is what it looks like after being blow dried. I feel like it more or less didn't do much of lifting, more so like fading the color that was already there but this is okay in the previous video where i dyed this wig i only used a 20 volume developer and today i'll be using a 40 volume developer a lot of people were talking about how you know it doesn't mean like it changed and blah, 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 blah. well that was because i used a low developer so it's not gonna lift or open the cuticles of the hair that much for the color to saturate now today i'm using a 40 volume developer so it will open up the cuticles way more and allow more of the color to saturate into the hair strands so hopefully it will you know we get the look that we want the color that we want and we're trying to achieve today okay so I'm just making sure to take my time and saturate each group that I create with the, with the dye and combing it through and I'm going to leave the color on for about three hours. And before y'all try to come for me, because I know I don't have no gloves on, I forgot that I ran out of gloves. I went to the hair store and I forgot to buy gloves. I mean, sue me that after each group, you guys can tell that I'm coming in and out the camera every few seconds or so and that's because every group after each group I put dye on I went and washed my hand really good and then began the new section and here is what the wig looks like once I get all the hair saturated in the dye I ended up placing it in a black uh, black trash bag and letting it sit for three hours and here is what she looks like I went ahead and flat ironed her and hot combed her pretty much I went ahead and styled her for my client, which is my cousin, it's for her birthday. Went ahead and styled her off camera. And what I'm doing is taking my Topic Jet Black Hairspray and just defining her part a little bit more. 
and I did not do this on camera but I also went through and bleached the knots of this wig and oop there she go she already sitting I mean she already sitting she just on a mannequin okay but I went ahead and braided her and did my ball cap method off camera I sewed the cap down and already applied the makeup to the cap so now I'm just going to go ahead and cut off any excess or yeah excess lace now I'm going to go ahead and take my 91% alcohol and clean the skin off and then I'm going to take my Walker's tape skin protecting as well to go ahead and protect her skin. I place the wig on her head and I begin to do my layers of glue. Today I'm using a popsicle stick or tongue depressor, whichever one you want to call it, to smooth each layer of glue out and today I use four layers of glue. While y'all are watching me apply these layers of glue, and you're just sitting here watching me be repetitive, you might as well just go ahead and stop this video and go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. Okay? Because if you're this far, you need to go ahead and subscribe. And go ahead and click that like button so that you and all your homegirls can see me and y'all suggestions. Okay? Okay, back to the video. When the last layer of glue dries clear, you wanna go ahead and lay the lace into the glue and begin to take the back side of your comb and press the lace into the glue. I'm going ahead and cutting the edge of the lace off so that we have like a nice natural look, cutting whatever is not melted into the skin and just giving it the some fresh lace to make it look nice, okay y'all? And I'm just combing it, getting it together. We already styled her, so all you gotta do is pretty much just shape and comb the hair to fit your client's face. Once I put her under the dryer, I'm gonna clean her off a little bit, and this is what she's hitting out, okay? Cause gang, she did salamo. Ow! And here is the finished look. <laughs> Let me get a